Yeah, so last week uh, we gave you guys a pitch for a Tiger King uh, video game. Uh, right after we put that video up, uh, they put up a brand new episode of Tiger King, which was uh, essentially not very different than this one in that it was done over, you know, uh, tele telecommuting video conferencing devices, um, where uh, TV host Joel McHale called up a bunch of the cast who was willing to speak to him because a lot of them uh, do not want to talk to the producers of that show in any capacity anymore. Uh, Can't imagine and, why. Yeah, and he asked them, you know, a bunch of different questions about uh, where they, uh, who they would basically, um, if they would like want to see the Tiger King jail or not, uh, and also who they would like to see them uh, play themselves if they were to inevitably make a movie. In the meantime, we saw uh, Rob Lowe uploaded his picture to Instagram where he is in full-on Joe Exotic uh, regalia, and apparently they are somehow fast-tracking some version of that movie. Rob Lowe's great. Um, I don't think that's the right casting. Uh, in fact, I don't think anybody that anybody named in anything so far has been correct. And so okay. I think uh, we're going to give our own pitch. So let's start with this one. Uh, this is obviously the hardest casting in the entire show uh, or movie. Joe Exotic himself. You have to nail this perfectly. You need somebody uh, that's equal parts uh, sort of menacing, but also w w wimpy and esoteric and eccentric, but also... Uh, Who could you possibly pick for this? Who could possibly play Joe Exotic? Daniel Craig. Okay. All right. Yes. So Daniel Craig, and here's my pitch. Here's why. First of all, aside of being a AAA movie star, um, Daniel Craig from uh, Logan Lucky to Knives Out has shown us that he's fully capable of doing a not great, but cartoonishly bad good uh, Southern accent. Honestly, and if we're going to see, like, if we're going to see a Tiger King movie, the thing that I would want from it is something like Logan Lucky, where they're like, this is based on a true story and it's dumb as hell. Like, this is going to be real. It's going to be a bunch of stupid nonsense. But you know what? I'm, I'm, I feel it. I feel like, I feel like Daniel Craig, after, you know, putting Bond behind him, I feel like he's, he's down to goof around. He's down to get silly. Yeah, and you know, like, I've, there's been a lot of debates about this. Uh, Joe Exotic himself has said from prison that he wants David Spade or Brad Pitt, uh, two opposite ends of the spectrum. Go big or go home, I guess. Yeah, right? Uh, you know, Rob Lowe threw his hat into the ring. Uh, you know, I, I had an argument with my wife earlier. It wasn't like a real argument, but it was like she was basically saying Matt Damon would be good, and I was like, people hate him too much, but they also like him, so I don't know if that's going to work. He might be too nice. Um mm. And then uh, she also said Sean Penn, which you said he's too good of an actor for this. Um, so I don't he know. If that's he would, Daniel he would take it too seriously. He hasn't done anything silly since like Fast Times at Ridgemont High. So yeah, yeah. All right, so let's move on. To All right, her, you know, potential Tiger King movie. Carol Baskin, uh, Melissa McCarthy for me. You think so? Hands down. Oh yeah, yeah. And so uh, people, people said Kate McKinnon. I think I she think Kate McKinnon's way better. I think so too, but I think that she's too sort of immediately funny. And mm. whereas Melissa McCarthy, she has this like really interesting thing where people really, really, really dislike her. And I can't exactly explain why, but a lot of so people you want see some, her. You want some like method casting here where it's like you're ready yes. to you already get mad at her? Yeah, because she's, okay. she's weird. Like that show doesn't really have a villain, but the to the heroes of that show, she is the villain. Um, even though those heroes are anti-heroes and the main ones in jail. Next, uh, Bhagavan Antel <laughs> or Bhag Bhagavan Antel, uh, Danny McBride. This was okay. this sold to pop in my head immediately. Like, Completely, yeah. And I know he's going to go over the top with it. That's totally okay. I really just want to see him with his like harem of of eighteen year olds. He's given yeah. exotic names. You know, he's like Esmeralda, uh, Punisha. This is this is for you. You know, like yeah. he brings all these. <laughs> I can I can totally see that. I mean, seeing him in Righteous Gemstones is pretty close. So, all yes. right, next. All right, Rick Kirkham. Okay. Uh, I went back and forth on this one a lot. Um, he wanted Billy Bob Thornton, which I think totally works. But Tim Blake Nelson, who you saw recently in uh, Watchmen, um, but also mm. in, uh, what was the Coen Brothers director? Buster next? Scruggs. He's been Buster in a bunch Scruggs, of their yeah. stuff. That yeah, picture on the right is the worst thing you've made in a while. That's horrifying. Uh, let's move on. All right, uh, Eric Cowie. I, I nailed this guy as Chris Elliott. I think he's spot on. If you've ever seen Scary Movie 2, uh, Chris Elliott basically has this exact facial hair. And long hair. Yeah, that, that's um, fair enough. I just want to hear about this guy talking about getting various like teriyaki hamburger meats out of the you know uh, Walmart mm -hmm. trash can. <laughs> All right, uh, this was a tough one. Uh, John Reinke, I think, should be Brian Cranston. Um, Matthew McConaughey is another one that's easy to throw in there. Uh, Brian Cranston might be a little old, although I can't tell if the dude on the left is either like 25 or 90. Um, I think being around 
wild animals will do that to you. But yeah, it's um, the wild animals that do it, not the zip lining accidents or methamphetamines <laughs> or yeah, okay. Wild animals are stressful, man. Uh, John Finlay, uh, I th- I think this should be the the the, the boof himself. I, I could see the boof doing this. See the boof. This is the big, big, the big beefer. Um, did you see Honey yeah. Boy? Yes. Honey Boy was deeply upsetting, and I feel like he's yeah. definitely he's got the chops for that to have that weird sort of mixture of like, like just just to, just be to be in a miserable scenario and playing someone who you're like is both just pathetic and just upsetting, but. Yeah, and so here's what I, I was going to ask you about this. Um, John Finlay has uh, since gotten his teeth fixed, and like he, he, I think he bought a shirt, so he looks he looks much better now. He actually looks great, um, but I don't know which version you'd have to make if you make the movie. You know, no, you make the one that everyone talks about with the teeth. So yeah, fair enough. All right, uh, this is next. This is Jet ho- Flow. Oh yeah. Is this horrible. not is this not totally spot on or what? No, that completely works. I don't think Willis would do it. I think he would absolutely shoot that idea down. It's too small of a part, and you know, what? No, he's kind of he's kind of like a, a the this sort of the main boss of Tiger King. He's mm. kind of the one that gets the ball rolling to get Tiger King in jail. Okay, I like Bruce that you call him Tiger IMDb? King. Have you have you, you seen really? it? Like his Bruce Willis's IMDb over yeah. the last five years is like a dude that owes a bunch of mafia money. You know like, who you're missing like, in this casting? I don't care who he plays. You need Nicolas Cage in there somewhere. Okay. I feel like he just should be in there somewhere. He's just, he well, would he, like, he could be anybody. <laughs> and I feel like he I would take he would it because he takes it. He does anything, you know? That's true. That That's um, really, you made him, he, Bruce Willis with that little, is that, is that, this looks like a homemade Guy Fieri. Like, <laughs> what did you do? That's awful. I'm, I just I'm changing her, I this. Goatee. And then finally, I think uh, Dame Judy Jen uh, then should play the tiger because I think you need a tiger. And after Cats, We've we've shown that um, you can make a fun, unmitigated disaster using uh, half non mocapped famous actors uh, named Dame. I, I'm so excited about both the Tiger King the movie whenever it actually comes out, but also the immediate future when I can delete all of these JPEGs off my computer. You awful man! These are all bad to look at. I don't like them one bit. <laughs> <laughs>